Oh. Strange hitbox. There we go. I'm gonna have to hit that bad boy as well. I love this little, like, going along the magma path section. Oh, that turned the other one off. Oh, no! I took too long to hit the thing. <laughs> uh, I, fr I didn't realize that I'd have to turn that on. And since I didn't turn it on fast enough to make it start moving, it sunk. They basically give you a nice little checkpoint right here, though, so it's fine. We'll get right back over there. Look at how nice my pouch looks in the meantime. If only I had one more fairy for this empty bottle, it would be perfect. All right, is the thing still... Okay, I don't have to hit the gym again. If I had to hit the gym again, I was going to go ahead and shoot it right there. Oh, slight invisible wall. How dare you? I'm trying to pre-hit this. Because it has to go around a corner. All right, this time we're going to be fine. Nothing to worry about. Whoops. And this other one over here won't sink ever, thankfully. I think I am going to have to hit that crystal again. I don't know if I'll have to use the... If there's another crystal on the other side or if I'll have to send the beetle around. But either way, we'll get it. Bats? Keys? Whatever. I hear battle music? No, I guess we're fun. Must be an enemy nearby but not able to get to me. Yeah, curve the arrow. Easy. Go now. That was close. Uh, there's a silver rupee right there. I am gonna have to use the beetle here. Grab this first. Yeah, that's expected. Go, 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 go. Curve the beetle. Nailed it. Nice, nice, nice. Now we just have this take us up one more time. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Jump! All right, we should be good. Yep, it's moving. We're good. Nailed it, chat. Lex, what are you doing? My dog is in the floor looking at me, scratching his face and yawning. Whoa. Joy-Cons have been, like, strangely, uh... Strangely wiggy in the last, like, hour of stream. Those mini-games made my Joy-Cons mad. They're like, we're going on strike. What's your favorite item? Oh, like, dungeon item? Like, my favorite item on, like, this item wheel? Definitely the, uh, the beetle. Beetle, without a doubt. The beetle is, like, probably the coolest... Probably the coolest, uh, dungeon item in Zelda history, to be honest. Up there with the spinner from, uh, Twilight Princess. Master Link, you've reached the mark. Offer your sword to it. If you do this, I calculate a high probability you will be shown the way to a part of the Triforce. Let's go, boys. One of three. I love stabbing the sword into the ground. Spirit Realm. Hey! You got the Triforce of Power. Created by the old gods, the Triforce possesses ultimate power and is said to grant the wishes of whoever possesses it. <coughs> oh, man. Had to cough. Just two more pieces to go. Ah. Needed some refreshing water. What's up here? This is just a way to another door. Oh, this is a shortcut around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to do that? We might need that later when we move stuff around. Oh, no. My dog is, like, coming up to me and asking for attention. He probably wants me to go let him out. Hi, Lex. Can you wait, like, another half hour? I think we probably got, like, a half hour, maybe 40 minutes in the game. Oh, he's stretching. He's ready. Don't lick my hand when I'm holding a Joy-Con. Why are you like this? Oh, wait a minute. How do I want to set this up? What am I looking for here? Don't sneeze, dog. What are you doing? What are you doing? What breed is the dog? Uh, this... I have two dogs. I have a Shiba Inu who isn't in the room. And then uh, our other dog is a Golden Doodle and he's in the room. Normally he spends all his time around my sister, but my sister's gone on a trip. So he's uh, been very needy and keeps coming into my room. So what do I want here? 
this chest must have the key I need to get Furori's piece of the Triforce. We need to get in here. I should just be able to move this to here to get the uh, the blue Triforce, to get uh, Nehru's. See if we can make this work. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can just, uh, hopefully we can just get in here, grab this piece of the Triforce, then we just have to get the key and then get back to Ferrari's room. Hello. Master, look over that way. Yep, there's another one. I have identified the design on the floor there as the mark of Nehru. I detect the sacred power of the Triforce radiating from it. Unfortunately, the way to leading the mark is closed off. That's what we got time powers for. There appears to be a time shift orb over there. I propose you utilize the nearby time shift orb to open a path to the mark. I'm on it. I was about to say I'm probably going to want the bow for this nonsense later. Do, 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 do. All right. What do we got going on? Let's get this guy dead real fast. Hi. That was bad. I stepped back too much. Nailed it. Send out your little boys. They stand no chance. Later, suckers. Check out my sick Hillian shield. You stand no chance. Later. No, you moved out of the... Dang it, how do they always do this every time? I need this time shift orb to have a slightly larger... Wit, birth, whatever. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Oh, dear. There's a little fan right there. I don't remember this room off the top of my head. Let's kill these guys. Fool. Will you guys die when I pull this back over? Nice. Thanks for the skull that I'm never going to use. Uh... Let's try jumping across from up here first. Least favorite enemy in the entire game? I'm sure I have a least favorite enemy in this game, but I cannot think of it off of the top of my head. Alright, getting up here does nothing for me. What's going on with this fan right here? I think I need to be on the other side of the wall for this fan to come into play. Oh, crud, I don't remember how you're supposed to proceed through this room. Which means I have to figure out how to do it, which is the worst thing. Go up here. Oh, wait a second. Ah, oh, okay, that's what I need to do. I need to put the time shift orb here. And then go back over here so that I can shoot that. I didn't see that there was a bow thing right there. I'm trying to think. I can't really think of, uh, probably... The thing is, is they're not, like, that annoying. But probably the enemy that I find most annoying in Skyward Sword is the, uh... The little pillar monkey face enemies that jump around at you and you have to shoot them with the gust bellows. And then after you shoot them with the gust bellows, you uh, you have to hit their little gems. I don't like hate them, but they're definitely like the least fun normal enemy in the game for me, I feel like. I would, I would prefer to fight like any of the other robot enemies. Ow. Hey, stop biting my orb. That orb is keeping you alive right now. There we go. Mine. Ah! Gotta <laughs> throw the orb at him. That'll teach him. Thank you, Master Sword, for the one-shot kill. All right, so th I need to move this over here. I think it needs to be... I need that to go down. Right there. And step here. Are you going for 100%? I've already done 100% as far as I'm going to. I don't know if there's anything other, any other minor things in the game, but I did all the side quests. I turned Barry back to a human. I got all the heart pieces. I got all the goddess cubes and all the goddess chests. 
I don't really know if there's anything else in the game for me to do, to be honest, other than finish the main story. I mean, I guess I could do the full boss rush after I beat the final boss, but I'm not going to do that. I already did the boss rush, like, eight deep to get the Hillion Shield. Plus, I'm pretty sure you can't even do the full boss rush unless you play on hero mode. So I'm not even going to bother with that. Do I need... Do I need the time shift orb over here, or can I just go without it? Pretty much already did then? Yeah, I think I have already. There might be, like, one small thing. Like, oh, you didn't, like... You didn't get a copy of, like, every bug in the game or something. I honestly don't know. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I'm pretty sure I've I've done, like... If I haven't done 100%, I've done, like, 99%. And that's enough for me. Oh, I need the time shift orb to be right there. Okay. I should have just sent the beetle up there to check first, but whatever. Did you get 99 hornets? Nah, I'll, I'll live with my 99%. Oh, I thought I would get away with that. I really thought I would get away with that, and I did not. You think this is going to work? I think I heard it do the thing. I think that worked. Oh, I'm so good. Gimme. Hi, Lex. Do you want me to let you out of the room? I think you want to go outside, but I don't have time to go downstairs and let you out. You get the Triforce of Wisdom, created by the old gods. The Triforce possesses all to power and is said to grant the wishes of whoever possesses it. Chat, I'm going to let my dog out of the room real quick. I'll be right back. There we go. I freed him. Just one more piece to go. I bet you that because I didn't go downstairs with my dog, he's going to be, like, clawing at my door in a couple of minutes, and I'll have to let him back in. All right, two down, one to go, boys. Just got to get the key to get into Ferrari's Courage. Going into the Spirit Realm, respawn to all the enemies. That's interesting. Least enjoyable boss? Probably Moldorok. I would say. He's not a bad... I don't think any of the bosses are bad. But Moldorok is probably the least fun of all the bosses. And even when you have the true Master Sword, I feel like it takes too long to kill him. Like, when you fight Skaldera in Boss Rush, Skaldera dies super fast. When you fight Moldorok, it still takes, like, three minutes. Unless you're, like, way better at the game than I am. Uh, so what do we want here? I want the bottom right to be adjacent to me. And then I want this one in the middle. Yeah. So I want that there. And then I want that there. That's what I just said I wanted, right? Is there a way that I can set this up where I can also then go into the green Triforce room right after? There probably is, but it would be way more complicated. Let's just do it this way. I did just connect like four rooms in a row. That's pretty crazy. Oh, we never went into this room. I bet you can actually finish the dungeon without going into this room at all. Because I'm pretty sure there's one or two rooms that you can completely ignore and still complete the dungeon. But just for the sake of seeing it all, let's go into that room and we'll change the room layout from there. Moldorok is pretty easy with button controls. Moldorok is pretty easy with motion controls. Moldorok isn't difficult. I just think it takes too long for him to die. Like, he has too much health. Like, I don't have trouble beating any of the bosses. I can beat any of the bosses with relative ease. It's not a matter of difficulty. I just think Moldorok is the least fun to fight out of all of them. Oh, we get a rematch with another skeleton captain robot. I love it. He's got an electro staff. Oh, that was bad. Nope. Got nothing on me, buddy. Oh, he blocked me. Nailed it. Moldrak would be less bad if he didn't burrow under the sand just to make the fight longer. I don't mind that because, you know, like, they wanted you to use Gus Bellows for the fight. And it makes sense that he would burrow under the sand. I mostly just wish he had less HP. If Moldorok just had less HP, I wouldn't mind at all. That was really bad. Ariel. 
This guy's too easy in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's not overly difficult, but I, I think it's a neat fight, so I don't really mind that it's easy. I still think it's a really cool fight to do. But I mean, they could have made it more difficult, I guess. I wouldn't have minded either way. As much as I love using Gus Bellows to blow away sand, I also find Moldrak can be a bit finicky coming out after burrowing. Oh yeah, he's way too finicky with it for sure. I don't mind him going under the sand. I do wish that it was less finicky, definitely. Did I miss the chest? Oh, whoops, I was supposed to grab the chest on the other side. My bad. At the end of the day, I think Moldrock is just uh, the least fun of all the bosses. Again, I don't think he's a bad boss. He looks really cool, and like the way the fight works is awesome. It would be nice if the... I don't think they should take away the whole burrowing under sand thing. I think they should, first of all, make it less finicky. But also, I feel like people wouldn't mind about the whole blowing him out of the sand thing if his arms just broke faster. His arms take too long to break. And we've gotten ourselves in the center, which means it's really easy. We just move over this room until it is where we want it to be. And then I don't remember how you're supposed to leave the dungeon. I think the game automatically takes you out of the dungeon. I don't recall. Go, go, go. But anyways, yeah. Moldorok, I feel like, is just... I don't want to say tedious, because he's not, like, tedious necessarily, but he just takes a little too long to beat. I feel like, for me personally, the sand, definitely, if it was, like, less finicky, that would be awesome. But the main thing for me with Moldorok is I just wish that he, uh, he had less health. I feel like it takes too long to... Oh, I remember this! In my playthrough on the Wii version, I got one of these guys to commit seppuku by just walking off the edge somehow. <laughs> I don't remember how I did it, but it was hilarious. Come on, come here. Come closer. That's one down. Later, sucker. Hey, bud, you're gonna die just like your friend. Oh dear, he almost got me. Sir, sir. Oh, that was close. Nailed it. Let's go. Why did they put so much effort into the jizzle, uh, the jizzle? Why did I say jizzle? The jiggle physics of this game. Uh-oh, battle music's still going. Oh, that's right, the room that is just full of moblins. I love this room. It's so neat to just have a, uh, a room set up that is just like, hey, you got a lot of fighting to do. I got an arrow, did I snatch that out of the air? Sir! Sir! I need to deal with all the arrow boys. Ah! Wrong thing. Later. 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 My goodness, so many of them. I love this room's aesthetic. Like, look at that giant stone claw. That looks so cool. Whew, and then I think I need the beetle to go up in its eye? Is there a, uh, a lock thing in here? Nope, just a lot of hearts. How do you get out of this room again? Oh, I just need to kill you, probably. There we go. I didn't realize there was another Stalfos to spawn. Oh, in one last fight. I love this little, uh, this little run around of, uh, a bunch of enemies and then a mini boss. Oh, this guy's got help this time. Bad. There we go. No, get off of me. There we go, there we go, phase two. Uh, do you mind? Oh, I didn't parry fast enough. My parry game is so off. Nope. 
There we go. I was supposed to stab you there. Do you mind? I'm trying to kill your leader. How much health does this dude have? Oh, he lost his helmet. There we go. There we go. Oh, hey, a fairy. Come here, come here. Please, my collection. Let's go, four fairies in a bottle. Now we're talking. Whew. Stupid thing about these rooms is that if you go back into this loop again by accident, the door's still locked behind you, so you have to go through all the rooms. Oh, that does suck. How on earth, why would you end up going through these rooms again? I mean, I guess like you said, completely by accident. I don't see any other reason you would. Cause like, you don't have to go through that loop to uh, to do the bit with uh, going from one room to another. Hey, it's the full Triforce. I ran under it. <laughs> you got the Triforce of Courage. Created by the old gods, the Triforce possesses ultimate power and is said to grant the wishes of whoever possesses it. Let's go. Triforce is complete. With its power, you have the ability to make Zelda's wish of vanquishing demise a reality. We've done it, boys. 